What is up you guys, Competent Gamer here bringing you back another video. This is episode 12 to the LSPDFR installation tutorial series. Today we're going to be continuing our installation of quality of life plugins for LSPDFR. In the previous video we did vehicle plugins that made the uh, handling of vehicles a little bit more immersive. Today the mods that we're going to be installing are completely centered around combat and weapon animations. So as you can see here the three mods that we're going to be installing are cop holster which includes some animations for uh, unholstering and holstering your weapon stow that weapon which allows you to place a rifle on your back and then realistic melee simply removes the knockout feature from pistols and it reduces the amount of damage that's, that's dealt to subjects with uh, a nightstick that way you can hit the your, you can hit your suspect multiple times with a nightstick and you won't actually kill them so before we get into the installation as always a quick little disclaimer i had nothing to do with the creation of any of these mods i am just showing you how to install them into your game that being said because we are changing files in our game it's very important that you make backups of your files just in case after installing these mods your game gets corrupted or something like that you can always revert back to your original files and start again let's head on over to lspdfr.com and the first mod that we're going to be downloading here is cop holster 3.2 by pr good and as i mentioned earlier this is just a plugin that allows you to remove your gun from the holster so that when you actually equip your pistol you can actually have an animation to remove the pistol it also comes with an intimidation mode that basically you have hit a button and it puts your hand on your hip just you know as if you're like you're reaching for your gun you're just putting your hand on top of there so to download this file just go ahead and click on this blue download this file button and while that's downloading the next mother we're going to be installing is stow that weapon by will and this one as shown in these photos here allows you to put the the last rifle if it is an acceptable weapon uh if you let's say you're holding a carbine rifle and then you switch out of that carbine rifle it'll be, get placed right here on your back now this also applies to smgs the other carbine rifles and other weapons like that and this is all configurable in the xml file for the mod so once you take a look at all the features here that you want to look at and take an uh take a look at the example for the i and i here go ahead and click on this blue download this file button and download the most recent version if there's any uh, menus like that available and while that's downloading, we can go ahead and install, or we can go ahead and download Realistic Melee 3.7 by Tech Engage. And as I mentioned before, this just uh, makes it so that punches and kicks no longer kill people in one hit. You can just you can hit them multiple times with your weapons, and they won't die. So it's a little bit more realistic. It also removes the uh, pistol whip function from pistols and tasers. So again as like the previous mods go ahead and go to this blue download this file button and start the download you want the most recent file and once you have all of these mods downloaded onto your desktop go ahead and move them to your uh, desktop and we can start the installation portion of the video now for the first mod that we're going to be installing we're going to be installing cop holster let's go ahead and open up this mod here and we take a look here at the plugins folder we're going to be installing this mod into our plugins folder and if you look here there's no ini file it's uh the configurations can, can actually be done in the xml file so if we go ahead and open this we see here our uh, controls right here they're set by default to the d-pad right or the r shift key for the intimidation mode and then uh right here you can either you can enable this and you can disable the animations right here right here shows you what kind of guns are are allowed to use these uh these features and which components which kind of holsters from eup actually have the animations uh allowed for them so in that case it's going to be uh component nine for the <clears throat> for the uh the holster uh component eight seven and two are i think are the other ones and you can find these in eup you can you can see where these are and i'll show you in in game what which one those are but once you you know take a look at what pistols you want to include here and what you want the controls to be go ahead and save that and then we can just take these on over to our plugins folder so let's go ahead and open up our main directory here into our plugins folder and then we can just drag and drop these files into here the second mod that we're going to be installing is stow that weapon so let's go ahead and open up this here and like cop holster this is going to be going into our plugins folder but it wasn't included here for some reason so even though you see these files just hanging out here they're not going to go into the main directory they are going into the plugins folder so let's just go in here into the ini file to configure our key binds and we have several features right here. So if we just look right here, the delete weapon key, basically uh, you hit a key bind and it takes the weapon off of your back. And then this one right here shows, uh, you can set this to true or false. What this feature has, what this feature means right here is that if you have a gun on your back and you enter a vehicle, if it will make the gun invisible and so that so it's not sitting on your back. 
um obviously you want to disable this because you know you don't want to you wouldn't keep the gun on your back while you're sitting in the vehicle um, but if you set this to false you will still see the gun on your back when driving likewise this feature right here disable flashlight uh, if you have a carbine rifle or a shotgun with the flashlight on uh, and you put it on your back you uh if you put it on your back if you set this to fall if you leave the set to false i think the flashlight will stay on on your back but if you set it to true it'll turn off once you put it on your back right here this just shows what kind of weapons are available are uh, acceptable to be put on your back and you can configure this by just hitting comma and space and then putting in the weapon code for the view that you want for the uh for the weapon that you want and you can find these codes somewhere on google it's not that hard but I'm okay with the default ones here. I won't be using anything other than the shotgun or the carbine rifle, so that's okay with me. I wouldn't mess with the offset positions or the rotations. Just leave those alone. They'll be fine. Don't worry about them. So once you're done configuring all these features here, go ahead and click on File, Save, and go ahead and update this in the archive. And once you're done, go ahead and open up your main directory and go into your plugins folder and then just drag and drop these files. The last mod that we're going to be installing is Realistic Melee, so let's go ahead and open this one up. And if we go here, uh, there's a readme.txt file, let's go ahead and open this up. And we're gonna, there's going to be two files included here, the damages.meta and the weapons.meta file. And these are going to be the pathway locations for both of these uh, for both of these files here. So let's go ahead and hop into OpenIV and go to these pathways. So if we follow the pathway here for damages.meta, we're going to go to mods, update, update RPF, common, data, action, and we're going to be replacing this file right here, damages.meta. Go ahead and take this and just drag it and drop it. There we go. And now for the other one, we're just going to back up to data and go to AI. And we're going to be uh, replacing the weapons.meta file right here. However, we actually have changed this in the past. So it's going to be a little finicky uh, to, to change all these files. So bear with me for a second. If you remember correctly from an earlier video that we did in this tutorial series when I covered how to install realistic weapons, when we installed the uh, M4A1 assault rifle, we also had the weapons attachment pack that we installed along with it. And in this pack, there was a change that we made to the weapons.meta file, this one right here that we're about to install, where we made this change right here, where we set this value to negative uh, 0 0.0292. Now, if we install this weapons.meta file and just drag it and drop it into here, we will overwrite this change that we did. So all we have to do in order to circumvent this is just take the weapons.meta file and open it and edit it with Notepad++ and then go to the carbine rifle section here and make this change right here. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and hit on Control F and look for carbine rifle. We have the weapon right here for carbine rifle and then we're just gonna go all the way down to uh, first scope, uh, first person scope attachment offset scroll down a little bit and we're gonna change this Z value right here from negative point zero two eighty to negative point zero two nine two we're just putting back that original chain from this pack. So once that's all done, we can go ahead and click on File, Save, exit out all this, and then we can safely drag and drop this file into here. And now we have installed uh, Realistic Melee along with the change that we had implemented earlier from the Weapons Attachment Pack. Now this mod also includes a non-lethal shotgun attachment that you are add-on that you can include with this, but I personally don't want that. So if you want to install it, you are more than welcome to do so, but that's not what I'm going to do. So now with all those installed, we have installed all of our mods for uh, that we have for today. So let's go ahead and hop in game and take a look at what it looks like in game. All right, everybody, now that we're here in game, let's take a look at all of the features from the mods that we just installed. So starting with cop holster, the intimidation mode, this only works with gun holsters that actually have a gun in them, like this one right here. And all we have to do to activate intimidation mode is just hit right on the D-pad or hit the right shift key. And when you do that, you'll put your hand on your holster to intimidate your suspect. Now, to take out your uh, weapon, all you have to do is just equip your weapon, and an animation will play of you unholstering your weapon. And when you put your gun away, there will be an animation to put it back. Now, there is a bit of a bug with cop holster where sometimes uh, 
putting unholstering your weapon won't actually put the gun back into your holster and when this happens you won't if you click on the right d-pad or the shift key you actually won't go back into uh intimidation mode so there's just you know just keep that in mind that sometimes there is a bug with this mod moving on to stow that weapon let's go ahead and equip our shotgun and what this basically does is that let's say right now we're using our shotgun and we want to switch to our pistol when we switch to our pistol the shotgun will be on our back and then when we go into our vehicle right here, since we did have it set to uh, disappear when we're in the car, as you can see, the sh shotgun is no longer on our back, but as soon as we exit the vehicle, it'll come back in. And now to showcase the features from Realistic Melee, let's go ahead and go over to these pedestrians right here. Let's take out our pistol. And if we get close to them, by default, we should be uh, able to have the pistol whip animation, animation. But if we get to them right now with Realistic Melee on, that animation won't be there. You, you won't be able to pistol whip them anymore. But now with our nightstick, we already hit them four times and they're still alive. So now with realistic melee on, we can hit our P we can hit the suspect a lot more times before they actually will die. Alright everybody, that's going to be everything for this episode. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, drop a like and leave a comment down if you have any questions, concerns. If anything went wrong for you in your installation, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know what's going on. And I'll try to help you as quickly as possible so I can help you with your issue. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you really want to hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new content. This has been Competent Gamer. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and bye-bye.